Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna go ahead and do a refresher of how to fix your voice chat. I wanna make sure it's working for you and you're able to use it. These videos always did very well and it fixed a lot of problems. So I wanna make sure everyone knows what the current state is. So with that, make sure you follow this and it should help you get it going. I do know how important it is to make sure you'll be able to talk to your duo partner or squad or maybe even FNCS partner. So with that said, let's go and just jump right in and get started here. We want to go ahead and hit the three lines up here and go ahead and choose settings. Then we're going to go and choose the voice icon here. And first you want to go to voice chat. You want to make sure your volume is high enough. If it's not working for you, I would just put it at 100 until you're able to fix it. It's working for me, so I'm not going to put it that high. Uh, sound quality, you probably want to leave this on low even though I have it on high. It'll give you better performance. And then the voice chat options here are what we're looking for. You want to make sure it's turned on, obviously. If it's not turned on, it's not going to work at all most of the time. Sometimes it's a little buggy and it still works when it's off. But you want to make sure it's turned on. And then we have a voice chat method and we want to keep it to open mic. Now we have push to talk as well, but if it's not working, we want to get it working and then we'll switch to push to talk. Push to talk basically means you have to hold that key down while you talk. It's not very easy to do when you're playing a game like Fortnite because it requires so much movement. The default key for that is T for talk. So if you want to use that, that's what it is. And you can also click on here and go to the setting to change it. Let's go and keep it on open mic. Then we have default input. That is what the computer is using to talk into, like your microphone or your headset. So we want to leave it default. If it's default, it's just going to automatically pick up what your computer is currently using. If other apps are working on your computer, like Skype, Discord, and other games, then default should be fine. If they're not, however, you may need to change some settings. We can go ahead and leave this as it is, and then we're going to go to default output. That's basically your speakers or these here, <laughs> your headset. So again, it's going to use what the default uses on the computer, so I would just leave that alone. If for some reason you go through all this and there's still issues, you can change these to your microphone and your headset or speakers and see if it works. Voice channel, I usually keep it the game now, but you can choose what you want. Party is basically just the people you invite and game is everyone that's in the game chat. We have voice chat notifications, I always leave this on. That way if you have your voice chat off at any time, it'll notify you and let you know, hey, your voice chat's off. You just sent someone an invite. They're here. Do you want to turn it on? And then you can just ignore it or click enable. Really nice feature they added there and I'm glad they did. So once we have all these set up, it should work for you, but uh, obviously it doesn't always. So if it doesn't, what we want to do is first jump into a game to try something else. So I'm going to jump into a solo here and show you exactly what are the other options we change. Okay, so we're in the game. The good thing is you don't have to wait till you actually get in the game game. You could just do this in the lobby. Once you're in the lobby, we'll try to find a quiet place. Go ahead and hit escape and go to settings. Go to voice chat and turn it off. Apply. And then turn it back on and apply again. A lot of times just turning it off and on reinitializes your microphone and gets it working again. At that point, you can go ahead and talk to your friends. Sometimes it takes more than one try. Give this a try, see how many times it takes. If you're trying it like 10 times and it's still not working, something else is going on. So if that's the case, let's jump into that next. So what we're gonna do is go down to the speaker here and right click and choose open sound settings. They will go ahead and open. Once you do, go ahead and scroll down and we're looking for a sound control panel. Go ahead and click on that. And you can see when it says playback and recording. Playback is what you hear. So if you're not hearing people, this is where your problem is. If they can't hear you, it's in recording. That'll give you an idea. So first we'll go through, you can't hear your friends. That is playback. So we wanna look through these and see what options you're using. Are you using speakers? Are you using a headset? And probably I have a lot of extra, as said, um, there are different things here. But for example, I'm using speakers. If I right click, I can go ahead and choose set as default if that is what I want. So right now, 
my default's gonna look a little different because this is my default because it's um, the voice meter program, but this would be your speaker. It would have a check mark. If it doesn't and it's a check mark on something else, go to it, right click and choose set as default device. That is for if you cannot hear them. So now say they can't hear you. Let's go click on recording and we're going to go and look for the microphone. You can see the ones that are set up for me I have the, the voice next to it because I have a whole bunch of different things. But down here you'll see the microphone and you can see that's truly working because you see the volume. We can go ahead and right click on it and you can't see set default because it is already set to default. So your microphone should be set to default and if not, you would choose it. So if I go ahead and right click here, you're going to see set as default device. So let me kind of try to say this again, just in case you're confused. If your microphone already has a check and you see volume, you're good. If it doesn't, you right click on it, you choose set as default device. After that, you right click on it a second time and choose set as default communication device. It's very important that you do both of them. Once you do that, that'll set your microphone up correctly and then your friends should hear you. So I know we went over a lot and I hope that gets everything taken care of for you. If for some reason you know your microphone and your speakers are working and everything else and you still cannot use voice chat, I do have one other way of getting it fixed and that's with Xbox Companion. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video here so you can go ahead and check it out on your own because most people will have it fixed by now, but just in case you don't, check out that video. It's really gonna help you out.